What's the saddest reason for a couple to break up? When no one is to blame. A couple who's been together for a long time and breaks up because one of them simply no longer loves the other is a really sad situation. There was no betrayal, no conflict, no ill will, and one of them finds themselves in the awful situation of having to choose to leave someone they loved at one point and in all likelihood still care about a lot while the other one is in the awful situation of being left by the person they love and who doesn't love them anymore for what feels like no reason. Wish she cheated, or me. Or whatever. We just grew apart and became roommates, I felt lonely and depression kicked in. Now we're business partners. Are you still liable to see her assets? This sounds like something Barney Stinson would say. Death of their child. Had family that went through this. Lost their daughter to a drug overdose. They had been married for over 20 years and got divorced shortly after. Why? When one person slowly stops giving a fuck about the other. The opposite of love is not hate it's apathy. This is me right now. 3.5 years of begging for him to love me how I want to be loved. I just want someone who hears me out when I say I feel frustrated and not make it about them. I want someone who actually remembers the stuff I say about myself and my interests. Who doesn't belittle them and make fun of them. That's all. I don't feel like it's that difficult of a request. Now I don't give a fuck about this relationship anymore and I can tell he's noticed. And now it's all, I thought we were partners. Partners implies two people who give a fuck about each other. I'm tired of weaponized incompetence. Tired of trying to make someone who will never be happy with me, happy. I'm totally checked out and couldn't give two fucks. THX for writing this. It let me know even now there's people going through the same situation I am. Makes it hurt a lot less that I finally made the decision to move on from a relationship I tried so hard for. Who needs love when you can have apathy? It's like a breakup, but with a touch of indifference to really spice things up. Hello. So, we're here to discuss the saddest reason for a couple to break up. Trust me, it's not about who ate the last slice of pizza or even their choice of favorite music. Nope, it's something way more bizarre than that. I'll leave it up to you to share your thoughts on this topic. Comment below and let's hear what you think. Severe or terminal illness. This could cause a breakup because the healthy party simply can't deal. But it could also happen as a way to protect assets from being absorbed into the medical complex, put all assets in the healthy person's name and divorce so there's nothing to collect when the other gets seven-figure medical bills. Both are sad but in very different ways. Apart from death of their child, I would say right person, wrong time, it's crushing to know you found your person, but you will not work out because you have different timings. Well, Finding your soulmate and then realizing you need separate alarm clocks might just be the saddest relationship tragedy known to mankind. One wants children and the other doesn't. Everyone says compromise is the foundation of all relationship, well except when it comes to kids. Can't have half a baby. Unless you're on television and oops, suddenly it turns out you had a child with another lady, which seems to be a loophole cougar town and Jane the Virgin went with. I pooped my pants, Jeff. I'll never forget my dinner with Andre dinner with a bed. So apparently, wanting kids or not wanting kids can be just as effective as a cross-country move or a swarm of bees in ending a relationship. I remember a post on Reddit about a couple who were together for decades but were divorcing due to one having cancer and if they didn't they would be both bankrupt from it. Well that sounds like they wouldn't actually be dissolving their relationship though, just a legal formality to isolate assets. That definitely sounds like a Reddit story. Ah. The perfect recipe for a heartbreak, love, disease, and a financial disaster. Talk about hitting the jackpot. When they're perfect for each other but they let unhealed trauma damage the relationship. I'm worried this is what's happening with my girlfriend. I have no idea what to do. I have years worth of a relationship's trauma that still affects my trust issues, and the long distance aspect makes it even harder. I trust her and she seems as obsessed with me as I am with her, but my god the thoughts won't stop. It's an awful feeling and I don't want to end up driving her away. Sorry, you're not my therapist but I just felt I had to put this somewhere. It's okay, what you're feeling is valid. Long distance relationship is pretty much challenging when you have such thoughts. Whenever you feel ready, just give her a call and raise your concerns. Discuss your fears and triggers with her and also mention what she can do to make you feel safe and secure. In the process of that you'll also have to recover from your past relationships. 
As long as she's understanding and patient then you'll be able to get through this. Maybe she has her traumas and you'll be able to help her too. Win-win I guess? The loss of a child. One of the saddest reasons for a couple to break up is the loss of trust. Trust is fundamental to a healthy relationship, and if it's broken due to betrayal, dishonesty, or other issues, it can be incredibly difficult to rebuild. Sometimes impossible to repair. It comes down to both of you, and if one of you isn't in it anymore then it's already over. I was with this girl for three years, we were engaged and we had our ups and downs nothing serious. One day she traveled to work in another city, we usually talk about what we're doing during the days to keep each other feeling somewhat connected during this time apart. One day I found out she lied about what she was doing and where she went and you know the usual I just arrived home safe etc because of a slip up from her, and on top of that she tried to lie and manipulate her proof that she wasn't lying. I just can't do lying, it hurt me so bad to break up with her but I lost my trust in her, if she can't be honest with me about these simple things what else can she make up, especially being in another city thousands of miles away, she offered from that point to share her live location but I don't feel like that an appropriate thing. I want to trust her words not check if she's telling the truth or not. I still kind of feel like an asshole and that I miss her sometimes. One of the most common reasons couples break up is a lack of an emotional connection. Emotional intimacy is a bond that goes beyond physical lust and chemistry. It's a bond built over time through shared experiences and getting to know one another. Logistics I had a career opportunity in my home state I could not pass up was head over heels for my GF at the time. She was too, it would seem. But she was a West Coast girl, born and bred. Her entire life was out there. I am from Texas and California was always going to be a two to three years temporary place for me, I wanted to experience it. And she didn't do well with hot weather, so, I took the job and came back. That last night with her was brutal. We tried long distance for a few months, but it's pricey flying between SFO and DFW regularly. So we eventually called it off. Probably the saddest most friendly breakup I've ever known. Ted and Alexis on Schitt's Creek broke up for the same sort of thing. The episode was so well done. I've been in this exact situation with different states. It's absolutely heartbreaking. Man this hits home. Had the same situation happen. We both had excellent careers and lives worlds apart. Infertility issues. Especially when one thinks they are the reason only to find out later that they were able to but just not with the other person. I wonder what's the reason for this, is it psychological or genetics? I had a friend that had constant miscarriages with her abusive ex-partner, but right after she married the next one that came into her life, she had her first child with her no husband problem. And her husband treats her so well too. Quite an interesting phenomena I would say. Edit, typo. Right person wrong time. I thought this was me, and then it became apparent that it was also the wrong person. D. Oh, this happened to me. Fell in love when I was 21, and he was 28. Broke up because I was a baby and hadn't figured out my mental heat stuff yet. We emailed back and forth for the next 8 years. Never stopped loving each other. He is my soulmate, and I am so lucky to be with him today. Only regret is missing years with him, but we needed time to ferment equals. I realize I much prefer mature to ferment a haha. I mean, finding your soulmate but realizing they're allergic to your favorite food? That's like a breakup with a side of hives. They have a severely disabled child and one of them can't handle the stress and workload of dealing with that anymore, so they leave and abandon the other parent to struggle raising the disabled child alone. Depression frown. This happened to me, I was so out of it. He kept telling me he didn't feel loved. I did love him. More than I loved myself at the time. I'm glad we happened BC he made me want to get better. Since I was able to focus on myself I got a lot better. Maybe in another life we would have been happy or maybe we'll meet again someday. I'd kinda just hope he's okay. Trying to stop this from destroying my relationship is so difficult. It's my worst fear. A misunderstanding. Must be some misunderstanding. Must be some kind of mistake. I waited in the rain for hours. I remember don't worry. Wait no. I once broke up with someone because they thought Netflix and chill meant watching documentaries and relaxing. 